Hello, welcome back to the channel Tarot Yogi. I'm Vineet and today we have another crystal ball reading and you might say that this is a continuation of another reading that I did titled for all my moonflowers and nightshades that bloom in the dark silently. I will definitely link that reading in the description box below. You should definitely check out that reading. I think it was a really good reading and this will sort of be like a part two to that reading where I will try to channel the energy of my Datura plant into my crystal ball and we'll definitely get some messages that you need to hear right now. And we have three buyers to choose today, but we don't have any options. We don't have any flashy options today. You have to use your intuition and go down to the description box, see which file is being called to you, one, two, three. Just focus on a number and see which number is called to you the most. You don't always need a flashy image, right? So ha having said that, again, it's a general reading. So please take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my channel feeling, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment. It means a lot. It helps the channel grow. Definitely do let me know how this reading resonates. And if you want to reach out for a private reading, you can definitely do that. My email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out for a private reading and I'll see you guys in your reading. Thank you. Hello, if you chose pile number one, this is your crystal ball reading on your Tutura messages. So just give me a minute and we'll get to channeling with the crystal ball. Okay, pile number one. So what I'm seeing is someone missing a train, missing a plane. So I think there is a feeling here that you have within your heart that you will not be able to keep up with life's challenges and you feel you will succumb at some point. And that is not true. I really want you to know that that is not the case. And I, I, maybe you have been going through a lot of things. Maybe it's just been one thing after the other, which which makes anyone and everyone very theory. At the end of the day, we are all human. But there's, there's clearly a message over here that maybe you, you are undermining yourself. Maybe you are underestimating your abilities when it comes to the things you can achieve for yourself. And you definitely are a beautiful manifesto. You can get anything and everything that you truly desire over here, whether it's a fancy car or the love of your life. Whatever you want, pile number one, it is yours. But you need to understand that the reason you get into your goal, and I'm seeing a labyrinth now, the reason that you have such an unusual rocky path to walk, bare feet, and you know your legs are bleeding, that's what I'm seeing metaphorically over here. So know that it is, it is a little karmic, but it is also something that you will be able to liberate yourself from. There's clearly a message over here of you freeing yourself and finally reaching the end of the labyrinth. What I'm seeing here is you're almost close to finding a portal, so to speak, over here that is going to help you cross over to the other side very easily. But in order to access that portal, what you have to do firstly is surrender. You're not able to surrender and just because you're used to doing things the hard way and you're hardwired like that, that makes it very difficult for you to maybe unlearn certain things that you have learned on the way. So there's definitely this feeling of claustrophobia, of suffocation, of cabin fever. And I think it's, it's not just like a place thing. I, I think it's also your mind. I think you're not able to calm your thoughts. So there's a real need for you to reintegrate yourself and reboot yourself. And it's funny because I just restarted my phone do before doing this reading and this is retrograde, so Mercury retrograde. So things are a little haywire right now. The energies are dense. You're not going crazy. So coming back to what I was saying is you need to allow yourself to rest, give yourself a few days and then get back to whatever you're trying to achieve over here. And instead of thinking that you have a big mountain to climb, which you do, Break it down and divide it in sizable bits that you can eat. Now I'm seeing cereal and a bowl. So, and I, I'm seeing a child. So I feel these things, these things are very much being carried forwarded from your childhood. And it's not just your childhood, it's also your past lives. And I think you're understanding that these certain patterns that you have been following unconsciously have been just your mode of operation and there's a real need for you to even, even change that and realize that you do have the power to change that and really pivot when required and know that 
you do have a brilliant mind so even if you are in a fix you will ski you, you, you will scheme and plot your way out of it you you are a brilliant strategist pile number one i'm seeing king of swords now and i'm seeing an owl so there's a real emphasis on your intuition over here there's a real emphasis not just intuition but your clairvoyance and there is this distant vision that you can see for yourself that you don't always understand how you're going to get there and you do let just your 3d reality get to you and it's it's part of being human so i think you need to show yourself a little more grace and understand that you do have access to this higher knowing and a more intuitive way to move through your life and depending more on your fem feminine intuition than just bulldozing your way through it and realize that there is a much more efficient way of using your energy and getting what you want over here so you don't have to burn at both ends i'm seeing a candle that is burning at both ends so understand that if you're martyring yourself what are you truly martyring yourself for pile number one and this definitely calls for some shadow work you should check out my shadow work readings but you know you have a mask on pile number one i'm seeing a mask now and you're so afraid of taking off that mask because you almost forgotten who is behind that mask so i think the biggest failure you have is with yourself over here okay so now i'm seeing a lot of green and I think it's your heart chakra. It's definitely that. And you need to understand that you need to connect to frequencies right now that will be like a soothing balm to you instead of cactuses. You really need to ground yourself. Definitely go out in nature whenever you can. Get get outdoors. But you really need to be in like a forest or near the sea. Those things will just help you integrate and make make things easy. and i know a lot of y'all don't even have the time right now and it might seem like a luxury but you have to do this for yourself pile number 1 there will always be more problems so you finding time for yourself and nourishing yourself the way you need to and understanding that sadly we don't have a button that is going to help us reboot or restart we have to do it quite physically on our own and that also means giving yourself the tough love whenever required is going to help you not only feel lighter but it will liberate you to again like i said coming back to the portal that you can access to finally get out of this labyrinth which is very powerful so there are a lot of illusions right now you're not able to see clearly all of a sudden my vision is a little foggy and I'm seeing I'm seeing a white horse and I'm seeing a skeleton on it so I'm seeing the death card and with that what I'm getting is there is a part of you that still needs to grieve so you can finally let go of what was you still need to process it out and maybe not numb yourself out there's a real message of that over here as well all of a sudden my my vision just went quiet my thoughts went quiet so the more you keep animating what you're trying to run from the trick over here is to just stop and understand that you are like a lion that is running around with a nail in his foot that's what i'm seeing and you're not realizing that you can't take the nail out if you just pause pile number 1 there's a real message over here for you to repose pause go inwards and just do nothing for a few days and only then will the clear answer bloom like a lotus because now all i'm seeing is like muddy water so there's a real message over here of feeling confident in who you are how far you have come realizing you have a unique journey 
you're meant to be who you're meant to be and there's no shame in that so i see you i see you claiming yourself a little more i see you being more confident in who you are and expressing yourself being really unapologetic about it so you taking a power back and you pausing is going to help you really get what you need over here so there's a real message of empowerment and not keeping yourself in illusions and realizing that it's it's better to cut out the illusion now i'm seeing a sword and i'm i'm seeing a curved sword i'm seeing like a sickle like a scythe so again it's it's sort of the death imagery that i'm seeing and what you need to do now is set yourself free from yourself and i know it sounds a little woo woo but that that is pretty much the case over here you need to stop and take out the nail that is hurting you and you know you know exactly what this is i feel and i feel once you do this even whatever obstacles you have on your path will be cleared now i'm seeing a carriage being drawn by horses so again i'm seeing a lot of movement for you and not just movement i'm seeing ascension so understand that there's if there's a way to unblock your own blessings it is to recalibrate yourself right now and you will just have that eureka moment where all of it will start clicking for you so there's there's a real message for you to just stop just for a few days it's really essential that you do or you will burn out again there's there's that candle imagery and i'm seeing a meteor now so it's it's really important that you give yourself a break you don't have to burn out by number one and i know i'm repeating myself but I really feel that is the message over here. I know that you're much closer to achieving what you want to achieve than you think. Things will just fall into alignment if you truly surrender. And that's just how God and universe works. We have to surrender first. Only when we try to ascend will God angels come down to bless you. that's pretty much the case over here pile number 1 and this is sort of also a spiritual lesson that you're learning and i i sadly i don't think this is going to stop until you really learn this lesson i think this is going to repeat in like different situations and i feel this has been repeating for you in quite quite a lot of situations so just again zoom out you have access to your higher knowing over here you you do have a direct communion with god with your higher self you have god on speed dial let's just say that use that you supposed to use that by number one okay i'm also seeing that a lot of you are not sleeping well and i'm not one of those people that will tell you oh you need to wake up early and sleep early but cover up your sleep whenever you can by number one that that's more important and i get it when you're really working you don't have time to sleep like i honestly i'm on very little sleep myself so just try to cover up your sleep whenever you can that's also very important okay i'm seeing an oasis now and i'm seeing like a fairy oasis like a very pretty fairy oasis and i think this is what you're searching outside yourself and you need to realize that this is within this is truly within you you just need to see you're not looking in inwards enough you're not spending enough time looking inwards i think when you start looking inwards it's almost like you're hit with a wall of feelings that you don't want to feel and again it's that numbness so break that cycle pile number 1 it's it's really important that you do for your own progress for your quick progress because i do see frustration over here you will have your turn just wait for it that's pretty much what you have to do just wait and take a break
Now I'm seeing a rocket. And for some reason I'm seeing a rocket to Venus. So I feel you will also have a glow up. Over here there is also a sense of you you just relaxing yourself and you're looking more relaxed. I don't think you look very relaxed right now, pile number one. And I'm seeing the peace sign, so that's what you need, pile number one. You need peace right now. Find it in whatever way you can, without numbing yourself. Being more mindful and being more present right now. That is the key you need to get out of this labyrinth as soon as possible, pretty much. You do have the portal over here again, I'm seeing. A fairy portal, particularly. So. And I think the fairies are also helping you lighten up. I think you have forgotten how to joke. And I do think you have a good sense of humor. It's just, again, it's the weariness, it's the tiredness. So that's what you need to let go of, pile number one. Yeah. Sleep. Get some sleep. I feel you'll also get some answers in your dream. Be open to it. Yeah, again, I'm seeing I'm seeing this feeling of drowning and I think that's what we started the reading with, right? This feeling of claustrophobia, so... Just know it will pass. All you have to do is just stay with it. Stay with it and just watch it dissolve. It will, if you don't interact with it, if you don't give it your energy. Learn to be the observer over here, by number one. This is like a deeper meditative technique that you have to sort of learn to get out over here as a cheat sheet because it, it really is just learning to observe without identifying with whatever you're experiencing feeling thinking yes i think that's that's the message there's also a need over here to look at your past from a different perspective and again, I'm seeing the line with the nails. So in order to release yourself from the pain, you also need to shift your perspective on how you're viewing certain things, how you view yourself as well. So the sacrifice is you, pile number one. It is your old belief systems. It is what has kept you safe, but it is also what is keeping you stuck now that needs to go. I'm seeing a scissor, so just cut it out. And I'm seeing someone cutting their hair, so maybe you would like to change your hair or color your hair. Do it. It's your new era, pile number one. Get into it. Mark it, get a tattoo if that's what you need. A piercing, whatever, however you want to sort of celebrate this initiation because that's what it feels like it is. It's, it is a spiritual awakening. So do whatever you want to, to truly honor this within yourself. You have the go, you have the green signal. I'm seeing a green signal now. So do that. Things don't have meaning until we give it meaning by number one. Please understand that. Yeah, so that's that's all I'm seeing by number one. Yeah. So again, it's a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest and if you like my style of reading, please like this video, share, subscribe, comment, it means a lot. It helps the channel grow and if you want to reach out for a private reading, you can definitely do that. My email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below, so you can definitely reach out for a private reading and I will see you guys in the next reading. Thank you. Hello, if you chose pile number 2, this is your crystal ball, the Tura spirit reading. So just give me a minute and we'll get to channeling using my crystal ball. Okay, pile number 2, I'm seeing... I'm seeing a ram, I'm seeing Aries. So there is this very strong cardinal energy and not just cardinal energy, it's the first cardinal sign, Aries energy that I'm seeing for you. And I think the seeding will be out around Aries season. So or pay, around Pisces Aries season. So there's a real message over here of renewal. Also, there's a real message over here of you taking leadership role for yourself. There's a real message here for you to step up into your emperor state you have to be in your alpha domination energy right now by number one that is what is really being called of you and for a lot of y'all i'm seeing i'm seeing performance honestly what i'm seeing is 
I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of kids that are watching like a puppet show. And I feel there are layers to this. I feel this is also you coming back to a place of simplicity and operating from this place of love where you don't have to put in a lot of effort even if you're working all the time in doing what you love. So you following your passion and for a lot of y'all it would be something in the public eye since I'm seeing a puppet show so it could be you being on YouTube or you just having a social media presence or you just being very known in your company where you live that there is a sense of prominence over here and i would even say a little notoriety like people are really people are really intrigued by you right now there's a lot of mystery around you i think you're also cloaked in a lot of protection so not not a lot of people's bad energies get to you so you need to be a little more grateful by number 2 and I, i'm sure you are grateful but you need to be even more grateful because you are being very protected right now even if you're experiencing some adversities it is only helping you grow please understand this things could have been much worse and i think you understand that so there's a real message here for you to just be be in this loving energy be in this energy of humility and grace will keep following you by number 2 you will always have this blanket of protection i'm seeing i'm seeing a very cozy blanket and i'm seeing a little girl so there's also a message over here of your childlike self and you again coming back to just enjoying what you're doing i'm seeing i'm seeing the little girl play now and she's playing by a pond so i think this is something deep in your unconscious and i think you promised yourself when you were younger that you would come back in time and rescue yourself and i think you're very close to doing that i think you're already in the process of doing that by number 2 wow and i feel this is like a deep level of integration that needs to happen and i i do think you need to be a little more gentle with yourself and not expect to be on a 100 all the time just pace yourself you don't have to be at the extremes all the time and there's always a, a little more gentler and a little more efficient way of getting what you want and achieving things still without getting yourself burnt out and making yourself the sacrifice that's not required over here by number 2 you have already picked up the bulk load i feel and now you just cannot see very clearly and also your heart is hurting a little so not a little well it is hurting and i feel it is being brought to your attention so you can integrate this and allow yourself to just feel and not pick apart your feelings and not not to pick apart your thoughts but to just let it flow through you so you can be liberated from this and you do have a beautiful mind by number 2 and the kind of things you come up with whatever it is it's a general readings but all of y'all uniquely you all do have a beautiful mind and the things you come up with no one can so there is inherent value in what you have to share and people want more like i said there is this cloak of mystery and protection around you so people want more of you but i don't think they always get that so there's also a message of you sharing yourself more over here and for a lot of you all it is going to be doing something online and all of us have now is very breathless because i was just talking and talking so again pace yourself by number 2 that's really the message you're running you're running a long marathon you, you don't want to faint you don't want to faint right so just breathe take a deep breath i think you're trying to go faster because you think you're very close to the finishing line and you are but this is this is not like a typical maze this is the maze of your mind so again in order for you to get out so to speak over here it has to it has to be from within the, the key is within you is what i'm trying to say over here by number 2 and all of a sudden my vision got very foggy so i think these are sort of the doors you have within yourself 
that keep this inner child of yours very safe and i think it's time to maybe break down that fortress because you're not as endangered as you maybe once were and realize times have changed you have changed you have more power and freedom now pile number 2 and you need to express that more you need to live that more you need to really fly above the clouds and understand that you can actually do that i don't think you understand that you can fly above the clouds wow so i think that is also a very important message and understand that you are at the precipice i'm seeing the threshold now and i see you stepping out but just having an uncertainty about it and you need to just shake off this uncertainty and just take this plunge for yourself and know that you will be rewarded you truly will the victory is yours i see i see like fire burning very brightly and i i'm seeing the sun now so there's a message here of as above so below as within so without so everything that you are searching for outside yourself is within you pile number 2 and if you're just able to slow down a little you would be able to see that for yourself and that will again help you get faster and to get get to achieving your goal faster and sooner than you might need to by just charging ahead so there's a lot of restlessness here pile number 2 that really needs to be settled and it won't settle till you stop and i feel pile number 1 had a very similar message but it was a little different so you might be attracted to pile number 1 as well or you might come from pile number 1 here but regardless you need to understand that there are certain structures that you need to break down in order to build new ones that are more suitable for the current climate and weather you are in right now and you will be able to do this in a very seamless fashion in a very easy effortless way even though if it might take some time from wasn't built in a day right while i'm about to i think you are motivated by maybe the wrong that has happened to you in the past and i think there's a message here of you letting that go there there are certain fires that you do need to extinguish by number 2 you don't have to keep your heart burning it doesn't have to be pain all the time and that's that's a realization that only you can have for yourself to set yourself free from that no one holds power over you by number 2 especially people that hurt you they don't hold power over you so you need to understand that and let go and surrender more and know that you have so so much beauty you have so much abundance just waiting to be claimed by you it is yours the castle in the sky that you see you will get there you will actually find a way to get there and that is pretty much the cheat code but it is about the journey over here by number 2 you cannot fast forward our lives right we cannot just keep revolving it like a crystal ball to zoom ahead or behind even if we can see certain things we still have to go through the lived experience i know that you are on the right track right now by number 2 so this urgency just find a way to channel it in a much more better way you don't have to be a nervous wreck all the time I'm seeing a big puddle now. The puddle that you sort of get when it rains, and I feel what it is symbolizing over here is 
your wounds have almost cleared up. All you have to do is just let it finally dissolve and let go of things you don't even know you're holding on to. It's like you're rearranging your closet over here, pile number two. So there are certain things that need to be discarded. Like I said, there are certain fires that need to be extinguished and only, only you can do that for yourself by bringing yourself more into balance and letting go of even certain hate that you have in your heart for certain people that have wronged you. You will get your karmic retribution, you will get your justice. And all of a sudden I couldn't talk, so I feel there's also a real need for you to even express certain things that have happened to you. I don't think you have really spoken up about certain things that have happened to you that you need to find a healthy way to express that. And you will be able to find that in your own unique way. And for a lot of y'all, I think you're going to be able to use this energy in your work, particularly. Yeah. So that is going to be the fuel to your fire. And realize that you always have a more way that you always have a better way to achieve things and also help other people while doing that. Because you particularly, you have that, you have that under your belt by number two. You're very, you're very skillful in that. And your, and your heart is huge. It's just all these people that have hurt you, you, you really need to forgive them and also forgive yourself so you can be free of, of the past carnage, honestly. That, that what, that's what needs to go. That is what needs to go by number two. So please express yourself. Please find a way. Maybe you just write things down in a journal. And if you want to just burn it later. There's a lot of this fire energy. You could be any of the fire signs. So understand this, that everything happening that you're experiencing right now even if it might not seem like the ideal thing for your situation, it is exactly the lesson you need to grow. This is exactly what you need to get to where you need to be in the best way possible, in a way where anything that is thrown at you, you will not flinch, pile number two. You will take challenges head on and just completely dominate every time. So take a little more pride and a little more contentment and happiness in what you do and know that you are helping a lot of people even if you're doing it unknowingly but for a lot of y'all I do think you're doing this consciously so know that over a period of time this is just going to multiply and multiply and multiply so just keep doing what you're doing because you're definitely on the right track just a little little bit of letting go a little bit of addressing certain things that are hurting you and you'll be so much more closer to achieving what you want by doing these things for yourself. For a lot of y'all, I think you need to travel. I think you also need to shift your physical energy. I think a lot of y'all are feeling a little cooped in or, or you're like maybe keeping yourself cooped in. So I do see travel over here, but I definitely want you to take a short trip, maybe to a national park near you or a park at least. You need to move your energy. At least 10-15 kilometers. Go away from where you are right now. And you don't have to keep doing this, just do it maybe over the weekend. That will again just help you recharge your batteries in a way and help you get perspective on things that that is going to help you change how you see things and it will help you see solutions that you couldn't see before which already existed. Pile number two. That's what I'm really seeing for you. So there are definitely a lot of distractions around you, pile number two. But understand that you are clever enough to not let it get to you and find a way out even when the situation seems very bleak. That's a superpower that you truly have within yourself. You are a fighter. You are a warrior, pile number two. You, you very much carry this alpha knight energy within you and know that you will always be prepared for any kind of battle and you will always come out winning. And I know I'm repeating myself, but I really feel that is the message over here. And to maybe just even remind yourself of who you truly are, because from time to time, we all forget who we truly are, right? By number two. So there's a real need to even 
not to rest on your laurels, but just acknowledge them a little more lovingly and taking pride in what you truly do. Because w what you truly have to offer is phenomenal. And I think it's also going to last longer than even you. I think it's going to really make an impression on people for a long period of time, even when, you know, it's going to be like your le legacy. It's going to live past you, I feel. So express yourself more, say what you have to say, do what you have to do, and don't be so bothered about people around you. And don't be so bothered about people from your past, maybe, that have hurt you. Let go, Just surrender, and know that you are entering a beautiful new chapter for yourself where everything is going to be exactly how you want it to be. Or, or better. So just have a little more patience and know that if you're not happy, it's not the end by number two. So don't give up right now. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's all I'm seeing pile number two. I think you just have to just acknowledge yourself a little more and give yourself more love. I think that is pretty much pretty much the message over here. And know that you will always be able to heal yourself even when it might not seem so. You will always find a way to win because you are a warrior. Yeah. Any other messages? Okay. So that's all I see. For you, file number two, again, it's a general reading. So please take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you like my style of reading, please like this video. Share, subscribe, comment. It means a lot. It helps the channel grow. And if you want to reach out for a private reading, you can definitely do that. My email ID and my Instagram handle are given in the description box below. So you can definitely reach out for a private reading. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Thank you. Hello, if you chose pile number three, this is your crystal ball reading from the Zatura spirit that I will be channeling into my crystal ball. So just give me a minute and we'll get to the channeling. Okay, pile number three. So first I was seeing one angel, but then I, I started seeing two angels. And I feel these are, these are definitely your guardian protection angels. And I feel one is dark, one is light. I think they both represent some kind of duality. And I feel they both have been with you since lifetimes. And I think they have been guiding you since forever. And you could have also been guides for them at some point. And I do feel you have a very high vibrational so you, you've definitely had your mileage in terms of being an old soul by number three. I definitely feel that. So this is this is one of your last lifetimes or probably your last life on earth, I feel. And I feel this life particular this lifetime I mean has been particularly challenging and things have been just so fast. Things have been just moving at such a rapid pace. I'm seeing the moon and moon moves the fastest across the sky. So you haven't had a minute to take a break, but the reason you have been able to get through this is because you've had these two guardian angels that have protected you and shielded you through these very difficult circumstances that you've had. And I think, I think a lot of y'all know about its presence, but a lot of y'all need to maybe get more in touch and connection with these angels. And I, I do feel these are particularly more angelic and in intelligences than anything else and i feel they might manifest in different ways and you might be seeing a lot of feathers but they're definitely trying to communicate with you and they do have a message here of liberation and just you freeing yourself from all the pain that you've been carrying with yourself and understanding that you have a very special purpose here on earth you're here to do some amazing work that only a few people are supposed to do and very few people are qualified and I think your qualification partly is your very spiritual soul that has been spiritual across lifetimes and it is also just your energy I think people by naturally coming in contact with you they heal and I think you have definitely attracted a lot of people that haven't had the best interest in their heart for you and even the people that have stabbed you in a way, you're definitely even healing them in a way. So understand that your radius of healing energy 
extends even to people who have hurt you. So there is, like I said, there's a higher intelligence at play over here and you might not always remember who you are, but I, I do feel this is who you are. You're not, you're definitely not from Earth, even if you've had many lifetimes over here. Your soul does not feel very earthly to me, pile number three. So definitely strong starseed energy over here and I think you definitely need to take your time in articulating what you're trying to say or what you're trying to write because you're going to definitely leave behind a legacy that is going to help a lot of people over here, pile number three, I feel. And all of a sudden, my vision went blank and I, I feel that means over here that there will be moments where you will doubt, there will be moments where you will doubt yourself, there will be moments when you will feel that you feel like you have lost your connection to your to your higher self, to, to, to these angelic guardians, but you haven't. Sometimes you just have to go through certain tests and that's what these things are going to be for you, pile number three. You will be put through the ringer often and if you're going to truly spiritually ascend, you're going to have different spiritual tests, which honestly just keep getting more difficult, take it from me. So you're going to be able to pass through these exams on your own hard work and your own sort of soul mission purpose, but you, you do have a lot of help. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing two guardians particularly. I feel these, these guardians really miss you. I feel these guardians really want to take you home with them, which is on a higher dimension. So they're really helping you make this your last lifetime on earth, pile number three. I, I really feel that. And they're also helping you ease into more of your sensuality to learn to be more in your receptive feminine energy, whether you're masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter or anything in the middle, but they're helping you receive more. So there's a real need for you to even dissolve your ego and get used to receiving help or just receiving blessings whenever they're given to you. So definitely say yes more when people offer you things or people do things for you instead of you being the person that is always bending over backwards for people. And I, I do feel the more you move your resistance from letting other people help you, I think you will truly get the help that will again help you, not just in the physical world, but also in the spiritual world, because I do feel you are on a double mission over here, pile number two. What you're doing here is reflected in the higher dimensions, more prominently for you than other people. So the imprint you are leaving and the legacy you are leaving is not just in the physical world, but also in the actual, in the spiritual. So this is big stuff, pile number three. Please understand this and Yes, you need to move through humility in order to have divine grace on you. But even if you are the servant over here, you are the divine servant, so to speak, you're very much wearing the pants of the CEO, if that makes sense. And you have this quiet power within you and you have this confidence about you that also exists for a deeper purpose over here. So you can get what you truly want and so you can truly stand up and walk your highest potential right now. That as a pathway that I'm seeing is available and open to you right now, but all you have to do is sort of jump into this portal and understand that in order to truly be free of things, you, you sort of have to sacrifice first. And sa most sacrifices for you won't even feel like a sacrifice. I feel, I feel that pile number three, you're just naturally by default, good at detachment, which is very, very healthy. And it has protected you a lot. I feel pile number three. So definitely more gratitude. I'm seeing a unicorn pile number three. And I feel this is a part of yourself that is lost. I feel this is a part of yourself that you have repressed for so long. So you need to get more in touch with your unicorn energy. I think that will help you achieve things with magic in a very healthy way, but also bring enchantment and whimsy into your life and just help you ascend to a higher place. 
that you're trying to do instead of falling more. I feel you will be able to sort of ride on this unicorn Pegasus and just fly away. And that is so pretty. So you will be able to do this very much. And this will again help you get out of certain situations which would be very challenging otherwise and would keep you stuck for longer. So again, I, I do feel you have this, you do have this fast lane energy of getting things done and just having things constantly be revolving for you. But it is because you are on this accelerated path. You are definitely like a Hot Wheels. I think that's the best way I can put it. Now I'm seeing a Hot Wheels do a 360 on like a roller coaster track. So there is this energy of you not losing your balance, even in the most tense situations, even in moments where people really feel that you caved in or you gave in, you probably didn't. You only came back stronger and you only came back with more mastery and skill. So like I said, certain things that you're experiencing are exactly what you need to develop your skill. If life was a little more easier for you, pile number three, you would not be able to stand up in your highest potential. And I know that really sucks, but I do feel this is your sole contract. And now I'm seeing a scroll and I do feel certain things are dated for you, but I, I can see, I can see dates, but the dates are sort of blurred. So there is a lot of divine timing at play in your life, which is very frustrating to you, despite you being on this fast track and you will be able to, like I said, just glide through duality and polarity in every sense of the 3D world. So you will be a master of it. You will be the master of elements that you already are. It's it's more about you just remembering that and refining your skill over here. So there's a real message of you really spending time over and over again, trying to achieve a level of mastery in whatever you're trying to do. And it's a general reading, so it's going to be different for all of y'all, but fit it to your situation and know that you will be able to ace whether this is an exam, whether this is something creative you're trying to do, whatever it is, it is yours, file number three. You will be one of the best at it. So really just give in your all and contain your excitement. I think sometimes you don't realize whether you're nervous or you're excited and it often leans towards you being nervous because it's just your mind takes over and you don't always clearly perceive what is happening. So I think you will be able to, again, dissect and just sort of see what emotion you're feeling and, and not sort of let it confuse you and not let the feelings overwhelm you. So I'm also seeing a level of emotional mastery over here as a byproduct of everything you will be really achieving for yourself. And now I'm seeing a snake, I'm seeing a coiled snake about to shed its skin. So you're definitely going to have a new beginning coming towards you very, very soon. You're very much at the tail end of things and you are in a very vulnerable zone and things are difficult but just know that this is a rite of passage this is a test you will be coming out only stronger only better only wiser and more equipped to just handle anything thrown at you and you will truly rise to the top over here file number three i really feel that is the message because now i'm seeing i'm seeing a soldier in battle that he has conquered all the soldiers and he's sort of standing at the top. I'm seeing guts from Berserk. So understand that destiny for you is a very, very big thing. And certain things are predestined for you and certain timings are also predestined for you. So don't, don't resist the flow of your own life and change whenever you're required to. You have to be flexible, not just in your body, but also in your attitudes and your approach towards life. And yes, you need to have the perfect plan, but leave a little place open and a little room for magic because you need that in order for your magic to work. You cannot, you cannot visualize everything to the perfect detail and know that if you're not getting what you want, there is something much, much better for you. And for a lot of y'all, I do feel y'all are single in this pile. So you will be finding new love very, very soon. And this is definitely going to be someone that you're supposed to be with. So let that happen in divine timing and don't keep searching for it. If there's a sense of desperation, it needs to, you need to fill the void within and understand that you do have a bit of a bigger void than most people. It is because you are on a different level, pile number three. I think that's 
that's the only way i can say it you are in a different lane you you do have a bit bit more of burden on you so to speak over here but you also have more help because of that if that makes sense so don't compare yourself to people around you you're, you're not like most people around you and you will find your people pile number 3 so just keep doing your thing keep following your artistic flow and you will end up in the right place at the right time with the right people so there's also promise of love and contentment and happiness and abundance so you're not going to be stressed about money especially in in your future over here i feel i think you're going to be very very happy with your career and also just be very happy in like your marriage over here pile number 3 that's what i really really see i'm seeing a beautiful villa i'm seeing i'm seeing like a big house so i do feel a lot of y'all will live in a big house after marriage i do see that with a lot of greenery around so you will you will even have your own garden if that's what you want over here pile number 3 and it looks it looks really beautiful so know that you will get everything that you have ever desired for you will get everything that you've always wanted even your dream car so just focus on the here and the now and what you're trying to create what you're trying to do and know that you will be able to achieve it despite the odds the odds are always going to be stacked against you by number 3 that's just how things are for you but that is exactly what you need in order to fulfill your destiny over here and know that you have the tools support and the skill and the right attitude to get what you want so don't underestimate yourself even for a minute and really enjoy what you're doing because what you're doing is going to impact a lot of people i feel particularly so take your time with it take your time with your creations you don't have to you don't have to burn yourself out and i feel that has been the common message for all the three piles today yeah yeah so i think that's that's all i'm seeing yeah so again this is a general reading please take what resonates leave the rest and if you like my style of reading please like this video share subscribe comment it means a lot it helps the channel grow and if you want to reach out for a private reading you can definitely do that my email id and my instagram handle are given in the description box below so you can definitely reach out for a private reading and I will see you guys in your email. Thank you.